In this video, we will be discussing the fifth grade math standard of comparing and ordering numbers, including decimals. Comparing decimals. Comparing decimals is a three-step process. First, you line up the numbers by the decimal point. Second, you add in missing zeros. And what I mean by that is whenever you have a place value represented in one number, but not the other, you put a zero in to kind of fill that void. For example, in this top number, there's a three in the thousandths place. However, there's nothing in the thousandths place in this number. So we're going to put a zero in. Both of these first steps are useful in comparing decimals. Not necessary, but extremely helpful. Third, you compare the whole numbers to see if one's bigger than the other. In this case, they're both fours. However, if they were different numbers, you could stop there. After you compare the whole numbers, you then compare the decimals. As you can see, it's 523 and 570. Clearly, the 570 is the larger number. Therefore, 4 and 57 hundredths is greater than 4 and 523 thousandths. Ordering decimals. The process of ordering decimals actually starts out the same way that comparing decimals does. First, you line up the decimal points. Then you add in those missing zeros. As you can see, this will make each decimal place end in the thousandths, making them easier to compare. Then we're going to start on the left hand side, meaning the ones place in this case, and start ranking them. What's the biggest number we have up here? Well, the six is the biggest, so therefore we're going to write a one next to it. And one strategy to make sure we don't accidentally reuse this number is to cross it out. So once you've ranked a number, you cross it out. Next, let's look at the decimals. I'm going to put a one over here as well, just because it's easier to see. And then we're going to look at the other numbers. We have 198, 560, 800, and 570. My next largest number is the 800. So I'm going to write a two next to there. And then we have 198, 560, or 570. What's the largest number there? Well, next is the 570, so I'm going to write a 3 next to it. Then 560, I'm going to write a 4. And finally, 198, I'm going to write the 5. Now, the fourth step is to rewrite the numbers in order from either greatest to least or least to greatest, depending on which way you're asked. If you are asked to write them from greatest to least, you simply write it in numeric order, starting with your 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, or however many numbers that you had to order. If, however, it's asking you to order them from least to greatest, you simply go backwards. You start with your last ranked number, in this case 5, and then go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 